The Kingdom of Daqin, also called Lijian, was west of Angxi and Tiaoxi, and west of a big sea. After the frontier of Angxi, you take a boat from the city of Anggu and cut directly across to Haixi. With favorable winds, it takes two months. If the winds are slow, perhaps a year. If there is no wind, perhaps three years. The country that you reach is west of the sea, which is why it is called Haixi. There is a river flowing out of the west of this country, and then there is another big sea. The city of Wuchisan is in Haixi. From below this country, you go north to reach the city of Wudan. You then head southwest and cross a river by boat, which takes a day. You head southwest again, and again cross a river by boat, which takes another day. There are in all three major cities that you come to. Now, if you leave the city of Anggu by the overland route, you go north to Hai Bay, then west to Hai Shi, then turn south to go through the city of Wuchisan. After crossing a river which takes a day by boat, you circle around the coast. From there, six days is generally enough to cross another big sea to reach that country, Da Chin. This country, Da Chin, has more than 400 smaller cities and towns. It extends several thousand li in all directions. The king's seat of government is close to the mouth of a river. The outer walls of the city are made of stone. This region has pine trees, cypress, sephora, catalpa, bamboo, reeds, poplars, willows, parasol trees, and, and all sorts of plants. The people cultivate the five grains, and they raise horses, mules, donkeys, camels, and silkworms. They have a tradition of amazing conjuring. They can produce fire from their mouths, bind, and then free themselves and juggle twelve balls with extraordinary skill. The ruler of this country is not permanent. When disasters result from unusual phenomena, they unceremoniously replace him installing a virtuous man as king and release the old king, who does not dare show resentment. The common people are tall and virtuous, like the Chinese, but wear hu clothes. They say they originally came from China, but left it. They have always wanted to communicate with China, but Ang Xi, jealous of their profits, would not allow them to pass through to China. The laymen can read or write Hu script. They have multi-storied public buildings and private. They fly flags, beat drums, uh, travel in small carriages with white roofs, and have a, a postal service with relay sheds and postal stations, like in the Middle Kingdom. From Angxi, you go around Hai Bay to reach this country. The people are connected to each other. Every 10 li, there is a relay shed, and every 30 li, there is a postal station. There are no bandits or thieves, but there are fierce tigers and lions that kill those traveling on the route. If you are not in a group, you cannot get through. This country has installed dozens of minor kings, the king's administrative capital is more than 100 li around. There is an official department of archives. The king has five palaces at 10 li intervals. He goes out at daybreak to one of the palaces and deals with matters until sunset and then spends the night there. The next day he goes to another palace and in five days makes a complete tour. They have appointed 36 leaders or generals who discuss events frequently. If one leader does not show up, there is no discussion. 
When the king goes out for a walk, he always orders a man to follow him, holding a leather bag. Anyone who has something to say throws his or her petition into the bag. When he returns to the palace, he examines them and determines which are reasonable. They use Shu Jing to make the pillars and table utensils in the palaces. They manufacture bows and arrows. They divide the various branch principalities of their territory into small countries, such as that of the king of Jisan, uh, the king of Lufen, the king of Kielan, the king of Xiandu, the king of Sifu, and that of the king of Yuluo. There are so many other small kingdoms, it is impossible to give details on each one. This country produces fine linen. They make gold and silver coins. One gold coin is equal to ten silver coins. They have a fine tapestry woven cloth that is said to be made from the down of a water sheep. It is called Haishi cloth. This country produces the six domestic animals, which are said to all come from the water. It is also said that they not only use sheep's wool, but also bark from trees, or make silk from wild cocoons. They weave woolen carpets, fine woolen rugs, felt rugs or curtains, all of them of good quality, and with brighter colours than those made in the countries of Haidong. Furthermore, they regularly make a profit by obtaining Chinese silk, unravelling it, and making Hu silk damasks. That is why this country trades with Angxi across the middle of the sea. The seawater is bitter and unable to be drunk, which is why it is rare for those who try to make contact to reach China. The mountains of this country produce nine coloured inferior jade stones. They change colour on different occasions from blue through red, yellow, white, black, green, purple, rose and dark blue. Nowadays, nine coloured stones of the same type are found in the Yi Wu Shan. Da Qin has plenty of gold, silver, copper, iron, lead and tin, sacred turtles, white horses with red manes, white or square-lipped rhinoceroses, tortoise shells, black bears, dragon's blood and mongooses large cowries, giant clams, carnelian, southern gold, kingfisher plumes, elephant tusks, coloured veined jade, bright moon pearls, night shining pearls, genuine white pearls, yellow amber and red coral. They have ten types of glaze or glass, red, white, black, green, yellow, blue, dark blue, light blue, rose and purple fine sonorous jade, they have gemstone jade, rock crystal and semi-precious red gems. They have railgar, orpiment, blue-green semi-precious stone and multi-coloured onyx or jade. They have ten types of wool carpets, yellow, white, black, green, purple, rose, deep red, dark blue, golden, light blue and back to yellow, finely woven multi-coloured wool pile carpets, multi-coloured and nine coloured inferior quality wool carpets. They have gold threaded embroidery, polychrome silk twill, woven gold cloth, red or purple handkerchiefs, falu cloth, red or purple cool cloth handkerchiefs, asbestos cloth, fine silk gauze cloth, baize cloth, dudai cloth, wensu cloth, multicolored tau cloth, hangings with scarlet backgrounds woven with gold, and um, little round multicolored mosquito nets. Altogether, they have uh, about 12 types of aromatic plants. As well as the overland route from Da Qin through Haibei, one can also follow the sea south along the seven commanderies of Jiaoxi in contact with foreign people. Nearby is a river route which leads to Yongchang in Yi province. That's why rare items come from Yongchang. In early times, only the maritime routes to Da Qin were discussed because they did not know that there were overland routes. West of Da Qin is a sea. 
West of the sea are rivers. West of the rivers are uh, big mountains running south to north. West of this is the Qi Shui. West of the Qi Shui are the Bai Yu Shan. In the Bai Yu Shan lives Shi Wang Mu. West of Shi Wang Mu are the Long Liu Sha. To the west of the Liu Sha is the kingdom of Dashia, the kingdom of Jian Sha, the kingdom of Shu Yao, and the kingdom of the Yue Ji. West of these four kingdoms is the Hei Shui, which is as far west as I have heard of. Yu Huan, the author, observes, It is commonly believed that a fish living in a little stream does not know the size of the Yangtze River and the sea. The mayfly, for that matter, does not know of the changing of the four seasons. Why is this so? Because one lives in a small place, and the other's life is short. I am, at the moment, intensively examining Da Qin and all the other foreign kingdoms. Still, it seems to me that I am neglecting to fully instruct the uninformed. Moreover, as to the speculations of Shu Yan or the hypothesis of the Dai Te Xuan, alas, I am limited to travelling by foot and living in the puddle left in the hoof print of an ox. Besides, I don't have the longevity of Peng Shu. It has not been my fate to see things first hand, travelling with the rapid winds or enlisting swift horses to view distant vistas. Alas, I have to strain to see the three heavenly bodies. But oh, how my thoughts fly to the eight foreign regions.